Oh, hi there. Welcome back. If you saw the last episode, then you know that Operation Meehan was a total failure. Well, let's see what happens now. What? I'm not to get the next thing on, but then... Luzu. Hey. Got her. He's... He's dead. He was a good fighter. He just wasn't lucky enough. Young, pushed his luck. What was he thinking going up there in the front lines like that? He should have stayed back with command. Damn it! Damn it all! Luzu, knock it off! You, you, you don't know what it's like! I do know. I... I'm sorry. Why don't you... Go home now. To be safe. Take it easy a while. Rest, yeah? Rest? You need some R and R. You're hurt, yeah? I I guess so. Get better. I can't beat up on you when you all depressed, uh, huh? Waka. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, call Luzu. By the way, if you do a certain action in the game, either Luzu or Ganta will stay alive after the operation. Now, I talked to Gata twice before Ur doing the boss fight, and that's how he died. And why Luzu is still alive. Well, now I'll let us do the quest of trial. But first... I beg your pardon, but may I ask your name? I am Seminar Yuna, from the Isle of Visayn. As I thought. The daughter of Lord Braska. You have the look of your father. My father? You knew him? No. I have never met the man. Ah, my apologies. I am Isaru. I am a summoner, like you. I'm Fuzzy. Pleased to meet you. And I'm Moroda. I'm guarding my big brother here. Since I was a child, I've always looked up to Lord Braska. I wished I would someday become a high summoner like he was. You must have some of your father's talent in you. I believe you might someday defeat Sin. I... I'm not really. I've only just become a summoner. Of course, I've no intention of losing either. So perhaps we should race to see who can defeat Sin first, no? Oh, very well then. I accept your challenge. Isaru! Yuna, I beg your leave. Good luck to both of us. Yes. I like them. They're like brothers in arms protecting Spira. And a friendly rivalry, rivalry between Yuna and... Uh, and that summoner? It's cool. Hey, you. Me? You are Yuna's guardian, no? Yes. Moroda's heard a curious rumor. I thought you should know. I heard it from those crusaders. Seems that summoners have been going out on pilgrimage and just disappearing. It could just be the fiends got them, but not so many so quickly. Sorry I don't know more, but watch your back. Ain't much future for a guardian without a summoner, eh? What? What? What y'all talking about? We're talking about doing your job as a guardian. Hey, I'm doing good. Right, big brother? Please be careful. Will do. Passe! Oh, what? We're leaving! Be right there! See ya! Bye! I think we'll see Isawa again someday. Let's see. There's a treasure chest right here. An ether. Cool. The 
cloister of trials lies within. Are you prepared? Yes. Okay, time for the next puzzle. All right, Guardian, at attention. We are ready. All right, let's do it. here is take these two Jonday spears and put them on the door. Now, in order to clear this this trial, we must just line up the sign on that on the floor right there. Now the next thing I would do is push the pedestal to your right. So it's right there in the Then take the two Joe Ozzy spears and put them on the recess right there. Once you do that it'll power up that Jose spear. to another room. Next, take the two Jose spears and put them on the pedestal. After that, Push the pedestal to the next room. Now, if you have a bow that shows these spears on the pedestal, it'll fold right there. Now you can turn to the other side. This happens automatically. Just approach the pedestal and Tina's will drop. Then you push that and it'll line up the next pattern. Then you touch that, and the pedestal will reappear. Take the two Jose spheres and put them on the recesses down right there. Then take this Jose Spear and put it right here. Now that we've lined up the heaven signal or symbol, before we go up to the next floor, touch this cliff because it'll reveal a destruction sphere. Now we can go up to the next level. Now we put these five pedestals.
go. But first, before we go up, let's reveal the next treasure. We get a magic sphere. Cool. I can now upgrade both Lulu and Yunus Met Attic since I have since I have two of these. Now we just wait here. Well, well, you again. Still trapped in the quiet crown, I say. What is it, Bartello? You know this riffraff? You are. Aren't no. What of it? Can I shake your hand? Aren't no, sir. Aren't you're the reason I became a guardian. <laughs> Thank you, sir. This means so much to me. Calling the personal guardian the Lord Braska Riffraff? And you call yourself a summoner? Oh boy. Bartello, enough. Get back here. Hang in there, buddy. Hey? Eh? <laughs> Stop pacing around. Be calm and wait. Okay. I swear, I'll never wash this hand again. Please, touch me with that hand and I'll remove it. Look, okay. Now, if we try to leave here, you know we'll all come out with a new Aeon. But... Okay, I stand here so I could... We can listen to the song for, for one loop. Now, let's continue. Sir Oren too? And I hear Maester Seymour is quite taken with you. The world must look different when you're the daughter of Lord Braska. This has nothing to do with my father. I'm traveling on my own, as a full-fledged summoner. Oh, is that so? Then try standing on your own two legs for once. Your guardians won't be able to protect you when the time comes. Wait a second. Did she just wait until we clear the cloister child to plus the singing of the aunt for free? What I don't like her. Well, we got a new Aeon, Sion, the Aeon of Lightning. Also gameplay on Sion some Sunday. But for now, it's a new day. And I haven't opened up this treasure chest yet. Sweet! Four ability spheres! It's been really hard looking for the old spheres, but now I can change my character's ability. Donna has left. Isaru too. We're leaving once Yuna gets here. No matter how dark the night, Morning always comes, and our journey begins anew. That was nice. I bet Lulu reads a lot of poetry. Get ready for the journey ahead. I suppose this is farewell, then. Huh? I'm leaving. Back to Besaid. I can't stay here eating the temple's bread forever. I'm one of the only crusaders still here. Okay. Anyway. 
Oh, Yuna? You only get to pick up a remedy. She was working until dawn. Healing the wounded. Sending the fallen. Okay. I guess I'll just... Let her sleep for now, then. <sighs> oh. Ah. Morning. What? Morning? Don't worry. But it's morning. <sighs> I'm so sorry. I I'll get ready right away. Just a moment. It's okay, you know. Uh, oh, oh. Don't worry. Oh. It's okay. Sleepy head. Sorry, I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. Really, there's no rush here. Your hair. <laughs> A summoner with bad hair. What's the world coming to? You could have woken me up. Uh, we called to you, but with all that snoring. Oh. Uh, oh. <laughs> mm. What is it today? Everyone's picking on me. <laughs> Once Lady Yuna fixes her hair, we leave. Oh, and two? <laughs> <laughs> oh. I hadn't really laughed like that in a long time. It was only later that I realized. The only one really laughing then was me. Laughing must have been the only thing keeping them going. Boy, after the chaos we went through, it's nice to ha have some laughs. Well, now we can leave this temple behind, so let's go. Hey, did she just push me? Off so early? Lady Yuna, you must be exhausted after working so hard last night. Will you be okay? <laughs> I feel that I have rested enough, but thank you for your kindness. Will you be leaving too? Yes. First we cross the moon flow, and then we head north in search of chocobos to replace those we have lost. Once we find chocobos, our mounted forces will ride again. Huh? Aren't you missing someone? Yeah, where's Costco? Captain, wait for me! What took you so long? We're leaving. You expect me to keep up with a chocobo? Lady Yuna, I wish you good fortune. Elma, Clasco, let's go. Ma'am. Hey, can I just rest a sec? No complaints. Oh, poor class girl. Okay, in the next episode, we'll cross the moon flow. Goodbye.